Hey everybody, this is Jared from Frost Comics, and I actually came across a really interesting conversation on Twix the other day, and I felt like it would make for an interesting conversational video. This conversation started earlier in the week on What's Next, Episode 11, The Colin Show, hosted by The Rabbit Hole or Telepathic Bunny Comics. As Dave said in the chat, maybe it's time that we just move on and focus on new things because we all know that old IPs are ruined now for one reason or the other. Now, Dave was met with a measure of skepticism from the panelists, but the show continued on unabated and everybody had a pretty good time. However, Dave would later go to Twix and he would express, I don't know if it's frustration, but he at least expressed some discontent where he said that people would rather complain about content they're supposedly not interested in instead of ignoring it. And to him, that seems a little weird. Bayonet and Ricochet Arts, who goes by Whiskey on Stream, responded in a couple of ways. Now, the first way that he responded was with a quote retweet, and then after that, he responded with a direct reply. Now, if you're watching this video, you'll notice that I'm putting the tweets up on the screen here, and I did my best to put them up in the correct order. And I encourage you to take your time, pause the video, read everything, make sure you have the full context if you like. But what I'd like to do is speak more broadly, kind of summarizing where I think everyone's coming from, because I think that everybody actually has the same goal. And I'll even include myself in that. I think that David Brink, Ron Christian, Telepathic Bunny, Bayonet and Whiskey Arts, we all want to have a positive impact on the culture that we care about because for one reason or the other, none of us are really happy with the state of it right now. I'm tired of storytelling being sacrificed for the sake of writer activism. I know Ron is tired of the fiction he grew up with being twisted into something it wasn't for the sake of the message. And it's obvious from reading his tweets that Whiskey feels the same way too, that he feels like not addressing these issues undermines our ability to fight back against them. Cooper, aka Telepathic Bunny, obviously is passionate about this. He hosts entire streams that are about improving writing, writing better stories than what's in the mainstream, because he recognizes that unless we have a better product than what's out there, then we're never going to make a positive impact on the culture because we'll never be better than what's already being offered. I don't speak for anybody in this video other than myself, but I'm pretty sure that Cooper would say, if we can't write something better than Rings of Power, then we'll never be able to shape the culture in any meaningful way, no matter how much we want to. So what's my point? Well, I actually think I see where everybody is coming from. Now, personally, I align a little bit more closely to where Ron is coming from and where Cooper is coming from, and I believe where Dave is coming from as well. But I also completely understand where Whiskey's coming from with this. I do see some value in critiquing the mainstream and pointing out the subversion that it is being used for. However, I don't think that we can make any real significant difference by continuing to talk about the things that we've lost. People who come home from work, especially if their job is exhausting, sit down and maybe they grew up watching the Lord of the Rings movies or they read the books and they love that universe and they don't know all the things that we know about Rings of Power. They just see Lord of the Rings on it, and so they click on it. But what ultimately is going to cause the downfall of things like Rings of Power is actually just how awful everything is anyway. If you're out in the world forming relationships and friendships with people who have similar interests and like-minded values, then inevitably it's going to come up. But we're not going to win anyone over just complaining about politics all the time or complaining about the way politics are presented in media. We have to have a real alternative to offer to people. We have to have something fun. We have to make fans out of people, not just make people angry who then want to support our products out of spite, because that's never going to last. But what will last is people who are really, truly fans of something because they enjoy it, it helps them escape, and it's fun. As a gift from heaven to help with the point I'm making in this video, Hassan Piker recently started having a meltdown in his Discord. 
talking about how he hates the community that he has, or at least what it's becoming. He actually is making a great point, though, because he's talking about how no one really wants to do anything fun anymore. No one wants to make memes. No one wants to goof around. They just want politics. And they just want to be angry about politics. And I, I hate to say it, but I think he's got a really good point, especially at the end, where he says that everyone became weirdos who don't see having fun as an important part of the project because the people associate leftism with being an annoying douchebag who hates fun. I gotta say, that's a hell of a take about your own community, Hassan, but, um, <laughs> go off, King. I truly do not believe that Dave Brink has some sort of ulterior motive or that he's trying to perform some type of ruse to prevent people from complaining about dangerous leftist ideologies. I just don't get that feeling from him. Brand name of his comics notwithstanding, he does seem like a very genuine person, and he seems to want the things that he says he wants. I don't think he's trying to stifle free speech, he's just expressing his own free speech. And I'm sympathetic to that. I mean, how many times can you complain about Morph, or the X-Men, or about Star Wars, or about Star Trek? Where Whiskey and I seem to differ is in what we feel is an appropriate way to push back. Whiskey believes the pushback comes from complaining about the problems. And I believe that the pushback comes from creating alternatives and ignoring what we cannot change. If we could take back somehow the properties that have been lost to ideological writing, then I would be right alongside him 100% complaining about every single episode, every single issue, every single film. But we can't. We cannot storm any castle that will allow us to take back Marvel or DC. That just isn't going to happen. And so the only way that we can really fight back is, one, boycott, stop giving them any money, stop giving them any attention, and two, create a truly better alternative, one that brings in true, genuine fans who love what they have to read now or watch, and not just people who are angry about what they lost. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely believe there is value in mocking terrible media, especially ideologically driven, activist-written terrible media. I believe that should be soundly mocked. But just imagine if instead of a trailer getting 609,000 downvotes on 9 million views, if that trailer only got 1 million views, or 500,000 views. What do you think would really send a message to Disney? But that's just one guy's opinion. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and me musing about this topic for about 10 minutes. I'm going to have links in the description for everybody involved in this conversation, and I would love to recommend every single person. They all have a diverse set of skills. If you're looking for an editor, Ron Christian is doing great work. He actually started working as editor for Silence Do Good, which is drawn and written by a friend of the channel and a buddy of mine, Sean Salter. I'd also like to recommend any of the comics by David Brink, Genuine Comics. He's got some wonderful books to choose from. And of course, I have to recommend friend of the channel, Telepath. Pathic Bunny Comics. I highly encourage you to check out his YouTube channel and also to give a look to Community Service, his upcoming comic book on Fund My Comic. And last but certainly not least, if you need a fantastic 3D artist, I would love to also recommend Bayonet and Ricochet Arts. Check out his Twitter page so you can see some samples of that. And if you need 3D art, give the man a shout. Thank you once again for listening, and thank you for checking out the channel. Give it a like if you like it. Give it a dislike if you don't. Leave me a comment to let me know what you think of my incredibly lazy setup where I didn't bother with the green screen and just talking into a microphone off camera. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.